Finally, my vlogging setup with the GoPro Hero 8 is complete. I have the display mod, light mod, media mod, and of course the GoPro Hero 8. But now the Hero 9 is out. I guess I just can't keep up with the latest tech. Hi, I'm Justin from Random Tech Videos and today I'll be discussing why I'm keeping with my Hero 8 vlogging setup and why I recommend you get a Hero 9 if you're looking at buying a GoPro. But before we get into that, please consider subscribing to this channel where I will be making more Random Tech Videos. So with that out of the way, let's just get into the video. This Hero 8 is a very good camera, especially now that I have this flip up screen so I can see myself while vlogging. It records 4K at 60 frames a second in linear mode, so it's a perfect vlogging camera. And I have a lot of batteries for it and accessories for this that are Hero 8 specific, so I'll be keeping with the Hero 8 for now. However, the Hero 9, instead of this, which has a 12 megapixel sensor, the Hero 9 has a, over a 20 megapixel sensor and can record 5K at 30 frames a second instead of just the 4K on this. I don't need 5K, but what it probably would mean, since it has a higher megapixel count, that the sensor even recording at 4K 60 would be a lot clearer. Also, the Hero 9, which has a front-facing vlogging screen, that can be a viewfinder, would allow someone to vlog without having to worry about this extra $80 accessory just to see themselves while vlogging like this. It comes built right into the camera, so there's no extra battery to worry about charging. However, unfortunately, batteries for the Hero 8 will not work with the Hero 9, and of course the charger won't work for the Hero 9, and also this media mod will not work for the Hero 9, it has to have its own media mod if you wanted that. So it's mainly because of money that I'm keeping with my Hero 8 because I don't want to spend an additional five or six hundred dollars to get a full Hero 9 setup. But if you're buying a GoPro for the first time, I would really recommend getting the Hero 9 because you may not even need this media mod unless you want external audio, but you might not need the media mod because it has its own built-in vlogging screen. And also the price for the Hero 9 would be slightly cheaper than the launching price for the Hero 8 because it includes one year of GoPro's premium subscription. I think it's called GoPro Plus or something. I would recommend just buying it for the discounted price with GoPro Plus subscription included and then just canceling after the year. If you don't cancel, it will automatically renew and charge you. So I just recommend canceling it after the year or you could pay a lot more money and get it without the subscription. I'm sorry for how terrible this video is because I forgot to script it basically. I hope this video was helpful. Please give this video a like, comment below, and consider subscribing. And until next time, goodbye and thank you for watching.